I am Marilyn Jackson, and as a taxpaying citizen and as a true Austinite of 59 years, I have seen and experienced my share of pitiful politicians. I believe that due to a 2018 pending investigation of the Tax Assessor Collector Office in which no less than seven employees were indicted, my incumbent opponent should have taken the ethical route and stepped down. But not only has he not stepped down, he is running again. Therefore, my mission is clear. As Travis County Tax Assessor Collector, my first task will be to appoint an outside third party and audit to identify the areas in which corruption, fraud, and abuse have taken place. Second, I will initiate the reset and institute a structure and atmosphere of integrity and transparency. Third, I will revamp, retool, and update the Tax Assessor Collector Administration, especially the Customer Service Department and satellite offices, and streamline the process. As Travis County Tax Assessor Collector, I will dot every I and cross every T, and I will transform the office back into a genuine service for its citizens. Help me do a reset. Hi, I'm Marilyn Jackson. I'm from Austin, Texas, and I'm running for Travis County Tax Assessor Collector. Everyone is so geared up for this 2020 election, and this election is like none other that we've ever seen. First of all, we've already dealt with uh, unprecedented 2020, dealing with this pandemic of COVID that we've all had to deal with, of shutting down of our schools, for our children being closed, workplaces being closed. We've had to go through so much. But the truly awesome thing about it is that America, Americans, the things we do of how we come together and make things work. Although we've been through so many other trying things, we've had riots, we've had looting, we've had everything, you name it, but we're still Americans at the end of the day. I also want to talk about something just a little bit more serious too. One of the things that has caused our country to be so divided is the two parties, Democrat and Republican. If we were to remove that and move it out of the way, there'd be so many other divisions that we do deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, we would have had to deal with them. At the end of the day, we have so much in common. We all go to work. We have to put food on our table to feed our families. Our children have to go to school. And I've never seen to this day a bill that come to my house with my name on it saying it's a Republican bill or it's a Democrat bill. So we have so much in common, but yet we allow this spirit of division of two parties to cause our country to be so divided. And that is what has opened the door for so much other type of division, racial divide, socioeconomic division, injustice, everything. It all happens with just these two parties being divided. Here's the thing. I like to challenge you to go on a movement with me. And I know you say, Marilyn, what movement? This movement is to do something total opposite of what we've done in the past. Total opposite of division. And that is a spirit of unity. We need to be unified as Americans because after all, we are the people. I also want to challenge you to contact your congressman or woman, the ones you voted for, and ask them, what are you doing for this country besides bringing more division? Because this is such a, a serious time that we're living in, this 2020 election really has everything to do with life and death. And you say death? Well, I'm not talking about physical death, but the death I'm talking about is being bound. I don't particularly care to live in a socialist, communist, Marxism country. If I wanted to do that, I would apply for my residence somewhere else in another country. But I like my freedom, and that's the death I'm talking about. Because others want to bring death to us, keep us bound in a place, but yet, as elitists, the ones that set the rules, they don't live by them. I don't care to live in that type of environment of your hypocritical ideals. My dreams, my visions, my purpose, and my destiny can't be held in a box. I'm Marilyn Jackson, and I approve this message.